Welcome back to Edinburgh Central Library. In this third film in our series, we'll use images from our collections to look at the Victorian fascination with studio portraiture and the camera's major role in family memento. As photography developed and became more accessible, studio portraiture grew in popularity amongst the aspirational middle classes. They would attend the photographer's studio in their finest clothes to be posed in set-piece hierarchical family groups. These studio portraits were taken by David Dool, a professional photographer who worked at 72 Lauriston Place between 1865 and 1867. Dool's formal portraits immortalise not only the people, but the bourgeois ideals of virtue and prosperity. The whole of the glass negative is available to see, allowing us to see beyond the framed portrait picture and into the workings of the studio. We get a sense of the event of the family's trip to the photographer's studio and the process of them being posed in front of the painted backdrop. It is impossible not to start reading a story into the people's lives. In the portrait of Mr Grey and his young children, one person is very conspicuous by her absence. Central Library has collected several family albums over the years. This wonderful album was donated to the library and dates from the 1880s. The photographs within it are taken by George Moram, father and head of the household. Through him, we have a unique and unusually informal picture of his Victorian family life. The pictures describe how a middle-class family lived in the affluent Grange area of Edinburgh. We see their home, their street, their relatives and their holidays by the seaside. They give us pictures of life in Edinburgh, putting the Moran family in the context of their time and surroundings. George Moram offers a view of Edinburgh recognisable but distinctly different from our own. Look closely at this picture of boys loitering outside the Waverley Station. Here Moram shows an awareness of the inequality between the different social classes. Its inclusion within the album highlights the comfortable lifestyle his own family enjoyed. The Moram family album is not just an important piece of social history, it also contains some simply stunning early photography.